Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain kernel estimator. So, kernel estimator is a non-parametric method for density estimation. And uh, before discussing kernel estimator, um, just have a introduction about naive estimator. So, uh, this concept I have already explained in the previous tutorial. So the naive estimator, the formula for naive estimator was So this was the formula If you want to compute the probability of x we need to find out the number of data points xp number of xp which are in a bin uh, the width of that bin is h and the starting boundary of that bin is x minus s2 and the stopping boundary x plus s2 okay so uh, if i write this condition separately uh, let me take this one equal to Now, uh, let's subtract x from each of the term. And before, uh, sorry, not subtract, first of all, multiply each term with negative. So, it will be minus xt minus x minus st. And the sign of this inequality will be reversed. Okay. Next add x in each term so we will get h by 2 x minus x by 2 uh, x minus x t and sorry h by 2 and now we will divide each term by h or if uh, i take the mode so I can say x minus x t by h less than one by two. So this entire condition, okay? This condition we can replace this condition with this one. Okay. So the same formula can be written in this form one upon n h and uh, here we need to find out the number of data points okay so we need a function which will count for a data point uh, as one let's say a data point is satisfying this condition so in that case that will be counted as one and if a data point is not satisfying that condition that will be counted as zero so these are some data points are given x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 so I will write here summation and uh, let me write this condition in the form of function. So let me take that function f x minus x t upon h. Uh, let me take okay. So what I want that if a data point is satisfying this condition, this function should return one. Otherwise, it should return 0. So, let's say if this point is satisfying this condition, uh, it will, this function will return 1. Uh, this point is not uh, satisfying this condition, it should return 0 and so on. So, uh, I have taken here sum. So, is it will be one, two, three. So, it will automatically will count. It automatically will count how many number of data points in your data set is are satisfying this condition. So, what is your f function? If we write our f function, let me take another page. So, our x function will be like uh, if u is less than 1 by 2 it will be 1 0 otherwise okay and the formula 
for naive estimator we have written in this manner f x minus ht upon h okay so this was our naive estimator so if we look at this formula this formula uh, consider contribution of a point as 0 or 1 it means uh, if we want to compute the probability of x a data point can contribute towards it or not so there are only 1 and 0 okay a data point will be considered in the cal calculating the probability of x or not now what is kernel estimator Kernel estimator uh, says that uh, instead of considering only two options, like here we are considering only two options, a point will contribute as one or zero. It says that uh, don't consider it this way, consider it as that every data point will be having some contribution towards computation of probability. So, how we are going to do that? so they use some kernel so the famous kernel is gaussian kernel so what is gaussian kernel the formula for gaussian kernel is 1 upon root 2 pi exp minus x square upon 2 uh, I'm not uh, completely sure about this. Please uh, recheck it. So, a uh, Gaussian kernel, there is a formula for Gaussian kernel. So, the only difference from naive to kernel is that this function is changed. Okay, instead of this function, uh, there are a number of kernels methods are available. So, the widely used is Gaussian kernel. So, if we Think this kernel Gaussian kernel function is k. So the kernel estimator for x will be p x one upon n h summation k x minus x t upon h. In book you might find this one different. Uh, like we have taken mode here, so you can remove this mode from here and you can apply that mode. Yeah, this is also same okay so don't get confused if you don't find this mode in the book so Gaussian kernel uh, there will be a kernel method which will be used for the estimation just wait okay uh, so here uh, the function will be used for kernel estimator is this one Gaussian kernel if you are using so what this function will do this function will take contribution of each data points and uh, it is different from the naive estimator in the sense that naive estimator just consider whether uh, a data point is going to contribute or not there are only two options but here there are a number of options it means every data point will contribute something let's say if we have five data points we want to find out a probability of a data point lying somewhere here so if we compute the probability of this data point every data point will contribute something let's say these data points are contributing 0 0.6 point, 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.1 0 0.001 0 0.002 0 0.001 so there will be contribution for every data points and if we compare all these three histogram naive estimator and kernel estimator what we will see that histogram will be somewhere some uh, somewhat like this one there are bins okay now if we check the naive estimator naive estimator is something like this one Okay, so it will be more smoother than the histogram. Okay, 
so this was our histogram uh, it is our name and the last one the kernel estimator the kernel estimator will be smooth okay so kernel estimator actually is used as a smoother so these are the three methods used for non-parametric density estimation thank you very much for watching